Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd do an update video on my Donny Dream, my rugby league team manager uh, career with Doncaster. Um, I live stream this every Tuesday at half past eight. The okay time if you want to join in. But we got the first season out of the way and I thought I'd just go through a couple things. So, as you can see, we are now in the championship. We were promoted. Uh, the calibre is professional, so that's something to look out for with the players. The ground has been done up. Uh, current facilities, I've got a four-star ground, which is a uh, Super League standard. So we're going to be getting more money in. And I've had to uh, update or upgrade a couple of these at the end of last season. I think the training pad of the track and the technical kicking enclosure ought to be upgraded to three stars to match the minimum criteria. And also we had to buy an Alliance Clubhouse. Trophies last year, we got the League One lead leaders. We got the League One League, and we also got promotion to the Championship. Uh, I don't know what these mean, but whatever. Assistance, I don't have any assistance. Players, right. Main squad. A lot has changed, to be honest. It had to with this step up in the uh, in League. So this is what we're going with at the moment. It's a work in progress. Could I argue maybe I've got too many players, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm still under the salary cap. But I um, if you look at the actual list the signings. Details. So these are who I've brought in. So I've got Brent Patrick from Newcastle on loan. I bought these guys, I bought Eddie Battit from uh, London, I brought Harrison Hansen. From Lee, the second rower. Ben Cornell was a young hooker from Wakefield. I uh, needed a hooker. Uh, Tony Giju, uh, probably pronounced it wrong. Catlands, loaned in. Good fullback. And Mark Sneed's come on loan from Hull FC. It's, uh, to say it's unrealistic would be a, a understatement. This would never happen in real life. Max Hoyle, can't remember who he is, signed him. And James Juniper, Juni no, start again. James Juniper. I believe he's a uh, utility forward, always good to have a utility forward, uh, good to come off the bench. And uh, these are the, the, the senior transfers release people out. Quite, um, so if we look at the squad, here we are, so I've got the uh, national level calibre, so he's going to stand out in games, good stats. Also playing the wing. Surprised we signed him, to be honest. Tom Kai is uh, semi-pro. He was in the team before, as was David Johnson, semi-pro. Signed Etu from Bradford. I actually signed him last year. Tail end, he's 32. He's got some decent stats. We well, had decent stats anyway for the league below. I think he'll do all right in the championship. Need to reset this. Alex. Gil Gilby came up, he stayed with the team, John Harper stayed with the team. Jean-Philippe Bale has signed. Frenchman from Bradford. Uh, good solid numbers. Solid stats. I've signed this guy from Australia at the back end of last season. I can't remember who I signed him from. But he's gonna be my chief uh, halfback, my standoff. And uh, yeah, good good numbers, good kicking game. As you can see, good player, should be a good player. And as we saw outside in Mark Sneed, he's actually injured, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, good numbers as well, National League level, so he's going to be a key player. Again, in real life, he would never ever sign for Doncaster. I don't think. Uh, these guys didn't reset, so I'm a bit light in the backs, as you can see. A little bit light in the backs. It's a work in progress. Castle's still here, the prop forward. Eddie Batty, this is a guy signed from London. Looks like a good 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 player. Adam Sidlow was signed. From Bradford again, good numbers. Scott Wielden, you saw sign him last year. So there's some props, probably a short of one more prop. Uh, to cover for injuries and, and such forth. 
and uh, oh, this is the, the, the hooker I signed from Australia, Max Hoyles, quite old, he looks good. He's going to be partnered with um, Ben. I've already just signed Ben, so as you can see I've got these three other hookers. Uh, I'll probably get rid of two of those, I'll probably sell two of those in the live stream. This is my uh, backup hooker, he looks really young but he's good stats, should be good for us. Second row, obviously there's Harrison Hansen, they've still got Brad Foster who's uh, came in the semi-pro level. And I have Brent Patrick as my loose forward from Australia, or New Zealand in fact, he's only 18, looks good. And then uh, I've still got Jordan Howden who's semi-pro but he's got the star next to him, he'll be a good backup player, and James Juniper, who is my utility forward, he'll probably play in his second row. Or maybe off the bench to cover second row and lose forward, I'm not sure. So I am definitely, I'm light on the prop, and I'm light in the back row. And well, I'm light everywhere. It's a very, there's a lot of players there, but not a lot of good players. Um, the Alliance, which was forced upon me. And as you see, I've already got a national level potential caliber player up there. Nigeria and these professionals so all these will probably go straight in the squad once they get to the full potential if you're not aware you, you don't promote them until they've reached the full potential otherwise they will never they'll never reach it and they won't do very well you won't get the best out of them not sure what else I need to go through coaches I had to get a Alliance coach is this guy, three stars. Give it three or four stars, I'm pretty happy with that. I've signed another physio to help uh, look after the Alliance and the main squad. So I've got my doctor. Oh, Mark Sneer's got ankle, lim ankle ligament damage. Saying that, it's only up for 19 days, that's good. I thought when I first saw that, I thought it might be out for a long time. Now, did I... Ah, yes. So next year we've got Will Sharp coming in. I'm under the impression that we probably will not get promoted this season, judging by the squad. So I'm thinking ahead to next year. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. There's a scouting report which tells me nothing because I don't have a scout. Play of the year. I'm sure I just played it. Yeah, I've definitely played, only played one season. I'm not sure why it's giving me two there. That's weird. But anyway, yep. Yeah. So, a couple of players are going to leave. See if we can bring a couple more in. I will probably get rid of Franklin and Cross, I think, and probably keep Keswick, maybe, as I pronounce it, as backup. Prop and a second rower, I think, is required. That's it, really. I don't have much more to say. Um, thanks for watching. If you're around on Tuesday, half past eight, join in. Come and join in with the chat. There's normally Gamer Robot and sometimes Starcader in the chat and they're, they're the regulars, so uh, they'll make you feel welcome. Alright, cheers guys, see you later, bye.